In this tutorial, we are going to see position property, which is used to define the position of elements or tags on the web page. It's important to learn position property because it will going to help you a lot when you are developing a website. So let's get started. So I create one div with class main box and inside this three more divs with class box and I give these boxes different colors like box 1 to tomato, box 2 to gold and box 3 to dodger blue. Now I add a border for main box to 4 pixel solid grey. Alright so by default all elements position is set to static because it is a default value of position property. You can check it by right click on any of these boxes and inspect. Now go to compute tab over here and you see all properties here. Make sure you check this show all box. Now search position here and see it's by default on static. So static means element is positioned according to its normal flow of HTML file which means box 1 appears first then box 2 and then box 3. Simple as that. Now let's see the next value which is relative. Now suppose I want to move this yellow box 4m on the left side. So I am going to apply left 4m and save it. See nothing changed. So why does this not work? It does not work because the position is set to static. So I am going to set the position of this yellow box to relative and save it. See yellow box moves 4m from the left side. Now I want to move it 3 ram up. So I write top minus 3 ram. We can set negative or positive values to left, right, top and bottom properties. See it works. So relative works the same as the static but in relative we can move element by left, right, top and bottom. Now one thing I want you to pay attention here is that the red and blue boxes are exactly where they are supposed to be. They are not affected by positioning this element. And one more thing is that our yellow box is overlapping the red box because it's written in HTML file after the red box. Now let's continue with the next position value which is absolute. So position absolute is one of the most used value compared to other position values. Absolute will use when we want to set an element position inside its parent container. Wait a minute, let me explain you with an example. Suppose I want to set this yellow box to the bottom right corner of this grey border, which is our main box. So I am going to set its position to absolute, bottom to zero and right to zero and save it. Now you might ask that if absolute is used to move items in the parent container then why is it set at the bottom of the browser screen? It's because we did not set the parent container yet. So to define a container as the parent container we have to set its position to relative. I think that's a little confusing. Let me show you in an example. So here our parent container is a main box, right? So we need to set the main box position to relative. Save it and take a look. The yellow box is set inside our parent container. So here is a formula for the absolute position. First apply position relative to the parent container in which you want to set your box. But note that your element is the child of that container. Second apply position absolute to your element and then use left, right, top and bottom whatever your needs. Simple as that. Now one more thing here. Do you notice that our yellow box is removed from its normal flow. But when we use relative, it will not remove from its normal flow. So that's the difference between relative and absolute. Now let's continue with the position fix. Now suppose I want to set this yellow box 
at the top of the page like a navbar. So we can set the position to fixed for box 2. Now with the help of left, right, top and bottom properties, you can set its position. So I am going to apply top 5 pixel and save it. See yellow box is set at the top with 5 pixel space. If I set top to 0, the box is set at the top without any space. We can also set it at the bottom. So write bottom 0. See it sets at the bottom. Now if our page height is more than the screen, then we get a scroll bar but the yellow box will be fixed at the bottom, no matter what happened. So when we apply fixed, the element is removed from its normal flow and its position is fixed with the viewport, which is your desktop or laptop screen. Simple as that. Now let's dive into the last position, which is sticky. Now this is my favorite position property and I love it. And let me show you the reason behind it. Do you know some website has a navbar like it's at the center of the main page and when we scroll down navbar stuck at the top of the page. And by using the position sticky we can also create that. Let me show you that in our example. So first I apply the position sticky for the yellow box. Now you see nothing is going to change here because we need to set top left right or bottom property for it. So apply top 0 and save it. And again nothing happens because our container has no scroll bar. So I am going to set the main box height to 200bh which means double of the height of the viewport. So now we have a scroll bar. Scroll the page and see our yellow box is stuck at the top when we scroll down to its position. So that's why I love this. Let's recap all the position values. Number 1 static which is the default value. Next relative which is used to move element relative to its original position. Number 3 absolute which is used to move elements inside the container but we have to define the parent container with position relative. Remember the formula? Right. Number 4 fixed which is used to set the fixed position of the element relative to viewport or we can say that relative to browser screen. And the last one my favorite sticky which is used to set the position of the element when we scroll the parent container. And that's it. I know some beginners get confused when they try to learn all properties at the same time. But I guaranteed you that with practice you can learn and master these things. I hope you like this video. If you have some doubts, then feel free to ask me in the comment section or you can DM me at my Instagram account. And hit that subscribe button. Lots of new interesting things are coming. So stay tuned and have a good day.